Okay, so Nadine just shot a video on glute strengthening, and in there she mentioned one of the reasons for glute strengthening is for strength with running. Now, if you want to watch her video, she also mentioned that these exercises are also good for growing the peach, right? So click on that, watch that video. But I wanna go over a little bit of why glute strengthening is really important for runners. And the first thing is that you really need a strong glute in the push-off phase of running because it helps you protect your hamstrings and calves. And so, go ahead and show them this, Nadine, the push-off phase of running. So, when she's coming into toe-off as she's moving down the road, your glutes, your hamstrings, and your calf are all pushing off to propel you down the road. If your glute is not strong, the hamstring and the calf are gonna take up the slack. And when they take up the slack and they do the work the glute should, should be doing, then you tend to have either tight, calf and hamstring, or it'll actually strain those muscles, okay? So make sure you do those glute exercises that Nadine showed you, because they're gonna help you with your running, not only make you a faster, more resilient runner, but also protect the rest of your leg from getting injured. Okay, the second way we're gonna talk about is something called a, it's a fancy word called a Trendelenburg, but it, what we're looking for is contralateral hip drop, okay, meaning that there's been some studies that show that when you're on the stance phase of running, if your hip drops down like this, that causes the leg to rotate in a way that causes some of the more common pain points in running, like your knees, your ankles, your Achilles, uh, IT band type symptoms. So Trendelenburg, we're gonna demonstrate, I'll demonstrate from the back, you demonstrate from the front. Great. Is, are we doing this right? Which okay. foot? Yeah. Okay, that's good. right there. Okay. So then this is Trendelenburg. That's what it looks like from the back or that contralateral hip drop. You're doing it also. Okay, good. So when you're running, make sure that your hips are strong so that pelvis doesn't drop, your pelvis stays flat. And if your pelvis is staying flat, you're a lot less likely to get some of those common running aches and pains. So get out there and strengthen your glutes for running and for Growing your peach, right? Okay. All right. <laughs> if you have any questions, ask in the comments below. And we end all the videos with one of those apparently.